Welcome back to the origin of the zodiac and today's video we're going to um, ask what is a star map so that we can understand how the star maps of Gwyneth compare to other star maps and uh, start to understand the importance of the star maps of Gwyneth. So the first, um, the first star map we've got to look at is an ancient Chinese star map from around about the first millennium of the current era and here we can see this plough perhaps and um, Cassiopeia and the constellations in the middle are the circumpolar constellations so that's a star map they used it to help navigate the heavens this is a Babylonian star map and you can see the uh, celestial sphere above um, is broken down into quadrants and these are lists of stars in each area that uh, looks like Orion and this is how they understood the heavens above. This is the Nebra sky disk it is from the first millennium of the current era it is a bronze disk with gold um, icons on it uh, this is the Pleiades, these angles here ref, re, um, reflect the uh, sun rises and the sun sets on the solstices. And this is a way that the people um, understood the heavens and charted and predicted what was going to happen. This is the Dendera zodiac from the Temple of Hathor at Dendera. This is a bas relief on the ceiling, and if we zoom in a little bit, we can see there are the constellations of the zodiac Taurus, Scorpio. There are a few differences. This is from about the first century before current era. Um, Virgo here is depicted as a constellation called the Frond which is different to what we have today. This is the sort of star map that most people may be familiar with. This is Orion. We can see the familiar shape of Orion's body, his belt. This is the ecliptic because Orion is beneath the um, celestial equator. It's in the southern celestial hemisphere. And this is the brightest star in the night sky, Sirius. Here is a view of the northern celestial hemisphere with all the constellations and we have Polaris in the middle, um, the Plough, Cassiopeia, we see the Pleiades over here, here's Orion again just beneath the ecliptic in the southern celestial hemisphere and we have the four royal stars at the corners of the celestial heavens, the guardians of heaven. This is a schematic of the constellations, all of them at a glance, so you can see the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere and the ecliptic through the middle, that is the apparent path of the sun against the constellations and therefore all these constellations on its path are the constellations of the zodiac, the 12 constellations of the zodiac and then we have the northern circumpolar constellations and the southern circumpolar constellations. A different type of star map is one that is put on the ground. This is the Glastonbury zodiac first seen um, about a hundred years or so ago and people sort of saw shapes on the ground some people saying it's wishful thinking other people saying it's um, just how they wanted to arrange their fields um, it's not a complete zodiac it's missing quite a few of the constellations in the center here this is a similar ground-based star map on Bodmin Moor in Devon and again 
the circumpolar constellations are missing. This is uh, one that's on the ground in Kingston. And we have a few additions. There's a bird in the middle here. These are some of the zodiac constellations and there is a dog here. This is the star maps of Gwynedd. It is different to the other star maps I've shown you because it is a complete list, a complete representation of the zodiac and the other constellations. We have all the constellations of the zodiac around the ecliptic here and all the circumpolar constellations of the north in the middle and all the southern circumpolar constellations underneath the ecliptic which is where they should be in the southern celestial hemisphere. It is a complete representation of the constellations. It covers a million acres, 1500 square miles. It is a quarter of the entire country of Wales and all of ancient Gwynedd. So let's have a look on Google Earth. We're familiar with this view and we zoom in to Wales. And let's see the constellations. There they are. You can see the area that they cover. We'll zoom in a bit further and um, we'll put on the pole star and um, the plough and the little plough. From there we can put on the ecliptic and then add all the constellations of the zodiac. So we start at Leo, Cancer, Gemini, Taurus, Aries, Pisces, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Libra and Virgo. They are the entire modern 12 constellations of the zodiac, all in their correct places. And we can look at it at in, in other areas and we can um, find out all the constellations in the northern hemisphere here Draco, Bootes, um, Cygnus, Cepheus, Cassiopeia, they're all here. This makes the star maps of Gwynedd different to all the other star maps. All the other star maps are partial star maps and they don't fully represent the constellations as we know them today but the star maps of Gwynedd does. Thank you very much.